We have 50,000 doses to give out this week, and we hope to be getting that level of supply for the weeks coming. It's a milestone we're celebrating, and county leaders say that 50,000 mark doesn't include doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The mayor says it may soon be available locally. But there's some people for for their own reasons or because of their occupations or because of how hard it is to get two shots that prefer Johnson & Johnson. So we're hoping to get more doses there and integrate it into our system. But after some who had the vaccine developed blood clots, we asked Mayor Durkin about rebuilding the public's trust. They were smart to pause it, but I think the fact that they paused it, investigated and said it's safe, that people should take confidence in that. We have millions of millions of people who have taken that vaccination without any ill effects. And for them, it was easier because it was a one-shot vaccination. I would have waited. I would not have gotten the Johnson & Johnson, to be honest with you. Um, I felt like Moderna and Pfizer were my only two options. Lakeisha Nat got her first shot today. She researched the different vaccines after a loved one had side effects from the Johnson & Johnson shot, something she hoped to avoid by getting Pfizer. She believes they need to do more damage control before expecting people to get the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Because people are already afraid, right? It's been a scary time. It's been a scary year. So the more information we can get, the more transparency that we can get in the process, the better.